think this through. Yeah, do something. Shut up. Shut up. Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no. I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait. We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar is dead. All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you. Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please. If I knew sooner, oh, I... shut it. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still, Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is, "It's my fault. It's my fault." Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it. It's, it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. <sighs> and just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Okay, now I can actually speak while uh, they're not yelling at each other. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to be shut up this, most of this episode because I'm definitely in about five minutes going to get told to shut the fuck up. So, um... I'll try and speak at the end just to do the outro and whatnot, or just here and there in little brief moments. So, until then, I'm just going to go quiet and enjoy the game. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just great. It's locked. Does anyone happen to have a key? I don't want to get stuck at a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Locked. A flare kit. This might come in handy. We all know what Flares did in this franchise. He knocked Jeff Copeland on his ass, got this guy he killed him the shitter. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. 
their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nema's bite. It was from a trodon? Yes, definitely. The tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. Nemo, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like ojos de lobo. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Well, looks like I gotta talk to you then, buddy. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Okay, then what do I fucking need? Has to be something I've missed. Right, can we just break it with uh, you? You. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right. Did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. 
Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Is it the raptors? Oh no. Yep. They're coming through the vent! Come on! Get out of here soon. Going past the door. <laughs> Jerry, get that grate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something. The air tank. What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Nah, that'll never work. Alright, that's my... There it is. Time to bust it open. Come off it. Bastard. Heads up. Oh, too early. Damn it. I missed. Talk to me another. Crap. I'm fucked it again. Oh, now I've got that time. Got you that time. Eat it, bitch.
Oh no. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We we need to head towards the north. The staff village is inland. That's the wrong way. Keep moving! Don't look back, it only slows you down! Wait! The conduit's gone! Don't stop! Wait! Those are water mains! Go! Follow them! Did I just get lucky? I think I got lucky. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. But well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Ah, yeah, crap. Uh... He said it entered the T-junction, which is that one. Only goes so far. Oh, fucking that one also ends in a. T Wait, where did he say the ladder was? There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Right and far wall. So that one definitely looks like a good shout. Oh, but that one also. One was a dead end with a ladder at the end. So is that. What does she say again? No, not him. Her. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Electrical box on the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Ladders on the left. Um... Oh, fuck. Okay, what, what did Billy say? There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Water tanks on the right. Part way down. I'm going to have to say X. I'm 
I'm gonna say X. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Yeah, I'm 100% certain X. Here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Oh, I've got a fucking... Like a few choices. No, it's 100% that. Oh, you gotta one. mark them all off, okay. Them all straight? What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm positive. We mark my answer in that place, Christalens. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, oh, here crap. we are. The gold bot won't come up again. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. What is it? Oh God, Jess! Oh, what have I done? Come on, Jerry. I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were going to follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Uh, it must be to the north. Near the outlet of the river. The big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. I'm going to call for one of these uh, telescopes. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know. Below those trees, my people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far, 
That's why my father called me Nima. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family, everyone, my whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. I could go anywhere, run in jungle, climb the trees. These monsters, there was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun, when my father and I would go to the ocean to fish, when I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima, little fish, little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. It was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> with a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood. They get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher. And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes. It's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good, strong name. And a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the Fisher's Bay. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. She was my second. Second wife second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Hmm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew.
Nima, look, I... What is it? I'm sorry about what InGen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from InGen. I owe you something. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.